Here. I broke out the fancy stuff. Can't have you going home telling folks that I'm cheap. <laughs> Girl, look at us. Two grown ass women looking like a coffee make commercial. <laughs> Black girl magic. <laughs> okay. Time for us to talk about the elephant in the room. I know you heard us last night. I thought we closed the door, but sometimes the door doesn't stick when it gets too hot. I am mortified. I know what it must have sounded like, Al but I swear everything is fine. Granny's already read me. <laughs> Baby, don't you let that man have sex with you like that. I know you have to try to fix everything and I love you for it. And you know my history, but Carrie's not my history. He is a good man. It's just sometimes world just gets to him. He came home late last month. I was furious. I had made a souffle from some PBS show for date night. Can you get more American middle class than that? Of course, the souffle fell. As soon as he hit the door, I started yelling. Nasty but low. My brave, strong carry crumpled like a tissue. He told me to get out. He didn't want me seeing him cry. I'm ashamed he was right. What is that in us? Some fantasy we picked up from some movies or what? Cops had pulled him over. No big surprise. They were disappointed that they didn't find anything, so they held him. And when I saw that same hurt in his eyes last night, I had to give myself to him to make that pain go away so he could have some relief. It didn't hurt. Doesn't feel good either, but it's not abuse. This one time, don't be a messy Gemini. Carrie and I are okay. I mean, we're not okay, but we're okay. 